trap games as coaches talk about a five game Western road swing that took them in to BC and to Alberta and their first game back just two days ago as they got home. This is always a tough start for the home team getting back into it and the Leafs have an opportunity to maybe take advantage of that. Starting lineups brought to you by Molson. Molson, everyone in and that puck's in and right off the hop Austin Matthews has given the Leafs the lead. Last night it went against them tonight 16 seconds in. Oh, a little slow start by the Washington Capitals, but a great little four check here. A turnover along the wall that ends up behind. McMahon keeps it alive. Goldie with the quick little pass, and right on the doorstep is Austin Matthews. There's a combination you don't expect to see, but Matthews right alone in the slot. Good four check by McMahon. Really nice pass. He saw what he put Max Domi up with Matthews last night in Philadelphia. Back in comes. Strobe, he'll drop it off. There's the former Leafs, Rasmus Sandin. Two are off the boards for Holmberg. Up at center and chipped ahead. And after it goes Holmberg, nice burst to the one hand. Backhand by Pontus Holmberg. Here's Gregor with another big hit. As he knocked out Pacioretty. It's a centering pass. Another stop by Wall. And another off Milano. Coachella Valley in overtime game seven. They did score a goal in the first. There's a chance. And Wall with another tough stop. He does Matthews with Marner, 1.14. And here tonight again, he's been the only guy to put the puck in the back of the net in this one. And now within three points of Mitch Marner, are they two on one the other way? Miro Koneko. And unable to get a good shot away there as the rookie went to the net. And now Tavares sending away Nylander in. Scores. What a shot. Nylander roofing it on Charlie Lindgren. It's goals in four straight now for 88. But then back the other way. You know, you come into a game like this with a goaltender that catches with his right hand. You have to be conscious of that in the room. And Nylander now with goals, not only in four straight, but four consecutive road games. Here's Robertson from an angle. Rebound put back. And back to Lafayette, tied up by him. They continue to battle. Benoit unable to clear. Carlson walking in. Ovechkin scores. Goaltenders talk about, you know, you just think that you've got position on it. Watch just the little delay by Carlson. He holds it as long as he can. All he's looking at, he's not even looking at Ovechkin. He's looking at Wall to see when does he commit. And then as soon as he does, the pass is there. And you see how quickly that's up short side over. There's the look between the two. Is but able to hang on for the win. Here's Matthew. Got it across for Lilligren. Backhands it deep around and will come around all the way to Dolby. Matthews back up top. Trying to sift that through. He scores! Austin Matthews from the line has two in the game and now 57. Bertuzzi does such a good job in front of the net, taking away the eyes of the goaltender. This is a heck of a shift, though. After a little bit of a push by the Washington Capitals, it goes through four guys there as Matthews has got his head up about three feet off the ground, and that one through Charlie Lindgren, who's dealing with his defender. And the body, I don't think that doesn't touch Bertuzzi, but from a dangerous spot in front. Bobby McMahon playing the Capitals for the first time in his career. Here's Miro Janenko back over the line. And Sandine sent it wide. McMichael picks it in. And the Caps back within one. Scoring chance by McMahon. And this is just the D backing off the line a little bit and a smart play by McMichael. He knows the heart. Bounce off the boards and right off the elbow there as Wall tried to come back. But to me, Chris, that, that all came from the entry. It just 
Way too easy an entry for the Capitals. They chipped in with seven hits of the game. Matthews off the boards. Back to the line. Domi reversing direction against McMichael. Benoit, Matthews, Timmons, all four rebound. Scores! Austin Matthews, hat trick goal! Gets caught to the outside. Domi makes the play with three caps around him. Benoit keeps it alive. A good one timer, but look at who makes it to the front of the net. Uh, the video guys are usually bang on, so Bertuzzi tried to drag the skate back. And on the yeah, far side, it does there. look. Here's the verdict. After further review, it was determined that the play was offside. We have no goal. Oh, yeah. you know. <laughs> you know. Off the draw, Domi hands it off. Matthews, McCabe, back to Matthews once again, and Domi. Here's Domi scores. Looks like it was tipped in front, and it's Jake McCabe with the redirect. And the Leafs have a last-minute goal. Chaos defensively for the Washington Capitals. Matthews draws a crowd. Good job of McCabe coming down the wall. Now you got an interaction between Matthews and Domi. And this is one where Domi, again, you see bodies in front, so throw the puck there. McCabe can't even get his stick on it, but he's able to get his body on it. But that's just an excellent job of cycling and causing some defensive confusion. There is off the body of McCabe. But he continues to bury them, guys. Just under a 70 goal pace. No active players ever scored more than Ovechkin's 65. And no active player has. Capitals 16th rank in the league. Benoit got caught up with the changing. Leaves in front. He passed off. Ovechkin scores. has two and now Ovechkin has two and it's a one goal game. Look at the bodies going off not looking at where the puck is Benoit can't get control and then how about Strom? I, I think the most surprised guy is Joseph Wall going are you kidding me you, you get left all alone the cave goes down to try to take away the pass to Ovechkin once all the delay happens look at his, his stick goes all the way back as McCabe, once he left his feet, slid away and at the line. Alexiev sends it across. That shot wide. And Tavares able to chip it ahead for Nylander. Swings to the inside with McMahon. And Riley jumping in front. McMahon scores! Bobby McMahon from Nylander. And again, it's a two-goal Toronto lead. He does a great job here of Cutting to the inside, he knows he has a forward there, and now he just waits on it, puts it to an area, and a smart play by Bobby McMahon, going hard to the net. Nylander looks to the inside, pushes it to the out, and that one slides through the legs of Lindgren. Oh yeah, I didn't get the 5-3 Toronto. Matthews, his shot turned aside by Lindgren. Dolby. Heels it back, Matthews, Bertuzzi, scores! Tyler Bertuzzi from Matthews and Domi, and it's 6-3. It's Domi's energy again. He creates the turnover, strips the loose puck, and Matthews with the backhand pass. Tough angle there for Bertuzzi, but watch how he just settles it for a split second. Gets it on the backhand forehand and lifts it up enough that Lindgren Expecting a shot there from Matthews. Instead, he has to go to his left. With just over four minutes to go. Final half minute of the power play. And that pass broken up. Nylander for Matthews. Leaks clear the zone and now move back in. Nylander across. In front backhand scores. John Tavares. And it is a power play goal. a broken play and Matthews controls it little flip pass to the middle and just nobody pressuring Tavares so as soon as Jensen went down watch Tavares takes a quick little look up and says oh I got time and pulls it to the back end up and over the blocker side it's just really good patience off the skate and then no panic whatsoever
Max Domi stepped up, and the Leafs are going to go home with a 7-3 win here in Washington, the 10th win of the year for Joseph Wall.